What's up, everybody? So, I don't know. There's a heaviness. And at the same time that I'm feeling this heaviness, the Nine of Cups keeps popping out of all these decks I've been shuffling to get ready to do this video. So I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know if somebody's drinking too much, like all in their emotions. I don't know if somebody is, uh, I, it's obviously a mixture of everything that I'm feeling because this is a general reading. Okay. So of course, more than one thing could be going on, but I feel the heaviness. like reflection. I feel like somebody's reminiscing. I feel like someone is really grieving the loss of someone or something. But also as I was, I, I also heard that someone is supposed to, I don't know who this is for, could just be one of you, but someone is supposed to ask someone out on a date. And there's someone else out there that's supposed to say yes, because I feel like neither one of you want to do it, even though you really want to do it. Okay. So that's that. All right. Give me three cards for the collective today. All right. Here we got two. Here's the. Okay, this is the Magician and the Empress. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's time to, for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects, or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that your abundance and prosperity manifest for you. And then the manifest your dreams is you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that that and support that miraculously appears. Helper of abundance. So that's the King of Cups. Okay. So what I'm, what I'm getting and what I'm feeling guided to talk to you about is I'm hearing reliance on self. You don't need anybody's approval to do what you want to do. See, this is a one and a three, and it comes to a four, which the fours are about stability. So this is being created. Three of thoughts. See, there's the heartache. I'm telling you, I feel the heartache. There's heaviness in it. It's like it's like there's been this ending, and it's like because there's been this ending, or um, let me see. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Yeah, I just heard because plans went wrong, okay? It didn't go as planned, and oh well, you know, that's freaking life. Like If I had a dollar for every time that happened for me, I would be not living in my mother's house. <laughs> ah, two of abundance. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple because there's like this panic. There's this stress and this panic. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, obviously this is general, so there could be multiple reasons why, but it's just, it's lack of, I just heard lack of faith. That is your, our, our dilemma. Okay, so I feel like the more that you step into what you want to do and focus on creating the life that you want, yeah, look, celebration. This is the star card. That card popped out a lot as well. Actually, all these cards, except the three of thought came out, the three of swords came out and a couple other decks, not in this deck. This is the first time it came out in this deck. 
Okay, it says this is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away, and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star that a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Yeah, because I feel like whatever you had your mindset on isn't happening. I feel like you just something came in, you got some sort of awareness that that is just not happening. And so it's like, that doesn't mean that you can't still create the life that you want. It just means it's not going to look that original way. That's why there's a need to make long-term plans. Okay. And I'm, and, and they're telling me to back it up. It's like, it's not meant at least for now. Okay. Okay. But this still leaves you with, um, there's like grievance. There's people are really, there's been some sort of loss here. Okay. I, I don't know what you guys lost. I feel like everybody lost something a little bit different, but, um, I'm telling you, I feel the heaviness. But the fact that there's three major arcanas, okay, you have the magician, the empress, and then the star card. I mean, those are some damn good cards. That, and the star just came out again. Star's all about healing. Here's justice. Things are being made right. Look, look at this conflict. This, look at this five of wands. It's like you've been being bombarded, like from all sides. It's like nobody's listening. It's just like things aren't going your way. Like these people don't even care what you have to say or what you're, what you're even thinking or feeling. And this is why it's like there's this need to have, it's like, um, I just started hearing um, Freddie Mer Mercury, uh, is there, can anybody find me? Somebody to love. I think those are the words. I don't know. That's That's what I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles. This person has been going at it alone. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, here's this five of emotion. It's There's a loss. There's some sort of loss. There's just like... And then the... Queen of Swords. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels for those or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. Yeah, I don't know what happened for you guys, but... It's just like, it gave you, I just saw somebody like, just go like, oh fuck, you know, it's just like, pff, whatever. And even though it's like, there's this feeling of just like, fuck it. It's not fuck it. Like you don't care. It's like, fuck it. Like, of course that would happen. This is my fucking life. Of course it's going to turn out that way. And I want you to know that whatever this was that happened, this big awareness that you got, or it, it feels like an ending. This had to happen to turn, to turn your wheel. Okay. It was, it was part of your destiny to lead you to what's meant for you. I mean, the star is coming up twice. It's also happening to trigger a deep healing with inside of you. I want to see what the heck, look. I want to see, let me see which cards I should use. Let's use these. 
I want to see what this five of wands is about. Because even this Knight of Pentacles, look at him. He's like, he's like, yeah, what? <laughs> Just seems very guarded. And the Knight of Pentacles for me is like always that guy that's like, he's going to make it to be king. Like this guy's going to be, look, here's the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, this Knight of Cups just keeps on popping out. All right, what is this Five of Wands about? Please clarify this Five of Wands. Look, it came out kind of sideways like this, but this is the Nine of Pentacles again with the World card. It just seems to be dragging out. Whatever it is you're waiting to, to close, it's like some sort of deal. There's like... There's something is just like dragging out. It's taking too long. Like you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And the longer that you wait, it's like it becomes worse and worse. And it's like realizing there's a need here to realize there's other things that you can do. Queen of Swords. And here's this one. <sighs> this has been going on for a long time because these two just pop up in my reading all the time. These two. They don't talk to each other, though, and I don't understand that. That's the energy I don't understand. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? It's like the, the energy is here for both of you to create something together. But it's almost like you guys are both into fucking pain. Okay? <laughs> Neither one of you is like brave enough to take this leap of faith towards each other because of, of your past. Like you're letting your past hold you back. And there might even be other people um, like telling you, no, you can't do that. Like telling you all the reasons why the two of you aren't, aren't meant for each other. Okay. These are all those people. And you're just like, someone's just like literally taking it. All right. I feel like both of you are taking it. Whether this is coming from... What I'm hearing is like you're you're getting confused because um, you're listening to too many people, whether that be from watching uh, readings or talking to to the your wrong friends, like the people that you feel are your friends, but really it's like you know that saying it's like people want to see you do good but never better than them, okay? It's like that. And meanwhile, I mean, the divine is watching this because there's this, this, I can't even tell you how important it is. And one of the greatest gifts, let me just back it up. All right. A long time ago, I met this woman, all right, who helped me re retrain my brain. Okay. To start thinking differently, to start taking action in my life towards change, okay, to start seeing myself differently. Um, this woman showed me unconditional love. I, I have never really experienced that. Every kind of love that I had ever had up until the time that I met her came with strings attached. It's like, okay, somebody gave me something, but then it's like an hour later, they asked me to do something that wasn't, you know, it's like, because they felt like, like they owned me because of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Long story short, this woman helped me get to a place where I could trust myself. And that's what I feel like great leaders do. That's what good people in your life, good positive influence, influencing people do in your life is they, they help get you to that place. Um, but there's a lot of 
really sick people in the world, okay? And I feel like both of you guys are surrounded by them. <laughs> At least one of you is. Like, that just would prefer you to stay down. Okay? But this is the two of you. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Meaning it's like you have, um, yeah, they just said that little engine that could. It's like you have, um, you know, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right? And you have this Queen of Swords energy too. It's like, yeah, you have been through a lot. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Okay, don't be afraid to use this wisdom. Don't be afraid to use that sword and let people know. Because for some reason, somebody got stuck here. And I feel like they're, you're starting to doubt yourself because it's taking so long. I don't know. They're, they're bringing me... This is like strange because... I don't really like read the Bible or, you know, like, but they're bringing me to some, it's like, uh, and I don't even know who it is, but there's, it, they're reminding me of this Bible story about how um, the person that he questions God is like, why have you brought me all this way? It's like, so-and-so's gotten this, so-and-so's gotten that. So, you, you know, and he's like, you know, where, like, yeah, and now they just said, what's in it for me? Like from um, Field of Dreams. And and then in, they, they say to Kevin Costner, the the spirits or whatever that are visiting him, is it, you know, is this what you did it for? Is that why you did it? You know? It's like, no, you didn't do it because of that. And that's the part that you need to remember. I don't know what you guys are trying to create, but I feel like um, it's literally like right in front of you or, or, or the it's coming. Here's this beginning. Here's the star card again. Okay, that's that's the, the star card three times in this deck. There's also some a need for communication here. You can make your own decision. I, I, I feel like that is the biggest emphasis. That's like what I'm supposed to say here. It's like you can make your own decision. There's a new beginning here. See? The end of a tough cycle. I don't know wh what you're what you're used to. I feel like this is what your life has been. Okay? It's like don't give up now. Yeah, don't give up 5 minutes before the miracle happens, okay? It's like it's like you're almost there. You have this this is why the Knight of Pentacles is here and this this is you. Don't let pride get in your way. I'm seeing the strength card now, but it's like... This looks like... There's like some sort of a, an apology that needs to happen. Okay. This could be in regards to a family situation. You could have a child with this person, okay? This person needs to come, but instead of coming guarded, you need to come with your mask up, okay? I feel like it's taken this, this person is dragging ass, whoever it is. They owe this Queen of Swords an apology. And there may be people in this Knight of Pentacles lives that have been telling this person, no, you don't owe this person anything. Just let it go.
or this conflict could be related to how, how this person's feeling inside about approaching because they know that you're not afraid to use your sword. Someone's scared. I, I feel, I feel like that's what the, um, anxiety, the, the, the pressure I was feeling in the beginning, it's like, but see, this is going to bring about so much healing. If you just say what you want to say, because I feel like this person, it's like, if I come with my apology that I've taken way too long to come with, okay, to step forward with, and she cuts me off. I don't know if I can handle that. And this is like where you're, but this is, this is about, I feel like this apology allows you to move on. Like it sets you free. It's not really about whether or not the Queen of Swords offers you forgiveness, which I feel like she will. It's time to take action. You're very close to achieving your goals. Listen, I feel like th there's there is a conversation that needs to ha happen, and it it's it's like and it has to do with an apology. I feel like there's somebody that's out there, or more than one people. This is general, so it's like it's there's somebody out there regretting the past. Focus on the past. I I also feel like there's two people that are separated that really want to talk, and it's not so much. I definitely feel like somebody's drinking too much. I mean, look at the rosy cheeks. I know my cheeks get rosy when I drink. I haven't drank in a long time, but I'm sure they'd still get rosy if I drank. Because <laughs> I'm sober now. Nothing is yet set in stone. It just feels like anything can happen. That's how it feels like anything could happen. You have all these major arcanas here, the magician, the empress, and the star three freaking times. This says your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe all the chatter is like, this will never work. Okay. All right. We'll write it down or converse about like how we can make it work or let's figure it out together if this can work or not and if we decide that it can't then it can't and we can like move on i just feel like there's to end this heartache to spin this wheel okay there needs to be this like conversation to help make this final judgment in regards to these two people here because they just keep on popping up. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Work through your fears. I just keep hearing anything can happen. All right, let's get one advice. All right, that's way too many. Completed. Purification, past life. This is why it's so hard. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. It's exactly what it feels like needs to happen. So the wheel can spin. Yeah, easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Golden opportunity. That's the one that I picked up off the floor before. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. There's definite um, mermaids and dolphins uh, connection. So if, if that uh, resonates with you, those sound frequencies, listen to that and uh, make sure to make your connections with it's like Lemuria and all that stuff. Okay. You either know what I'm talking about or you don't. And so, um, yeah, I love you guys. Feels done. <laughs> Bye.